Network of Believers, Lunchtime Uplift with Pastor Eugene Whitmore and Lady Teresa Whitmore. The Network of Believers Church is located at 1111 West 7th Street here in the city of Little Rock. Here's Lady T and Pastor G. Blessings on 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 blessings to each of you. I am thankful that it's Friday. As you said earlier, fry yay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got so many things to be thankful for. Yes. We are here in the house yes. live. Yes, I got Dr. Richmond with me, and he's so full. <laughs> he comes in the door with a word, <laughs> encourages me right out the <laughs> gate. And I'm like, whoa, man. Yes, <laughs> Let's wait till we get on the air yes, and share all of this. We are very thankful, Dr. Richmond. I'm yes, thankful. Sir. Again. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you so much for taking out time. To bless the people of God. Amen. And uh, I want you to greet the people and, of course, yes. pray us into this Absolutely. amazing day of revelation. Get your people in the house. Yes, sir. Get your people in the house. Yes, sir. <laughs> greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome, everybody. Uh, today is going to be a life-changing situation, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I believe that the, the heart of God is going to be revealed uh, in a way that's going to Again, uh, revolutionize Revolution. what is going on in your life. And uh, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm full as a tick, ready to <laughs> see what Father wants to release because yes. it's not by might nor by power, but by his spirit. And let's, uh, let's, let's implore him right now. Father, in Jesus' name, how we thank you, how we honor you, we magnify you for all that you are and all that you've done. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for eternal life. Thank you for the authority that you have given unto your heritage. Father, we thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you that you are the sustainer of all existence. You're the, you're the purpose of our life. You're the, the destiny of our journey here on earth. And we just celebrate you now. Now, Father, I speak to every heart, every heart that is listening right now, that, they, that their lives are now changed. I thank you that, Father, that it, what shall go into the ears of those that hear, it will go deep down in their heart, in their soul, and it will be fruitful and multiply and overflow into all those that will hear this word. We celebrate you forever in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Celebration. Jesus. You know, ever since, ever since uh, uh, we did the, uh, com- and I call it, I always call it the commemoration. Yes. Easter is a, just a commemoration of, of, of a work that has been completely right, finished. Right, right, right. And every time I think about uh this, especially this year, mm-hmm. under the circumstances that we are living under, the Lord did something in me, man, Jesus. that that changed. Uh, now, I thought I was kind of progressive in my thinking already. When I say progressive, as to the way that I see things, it's a little bit different. I don't see things from. I'm not fighting for victory. Right. <laughs> I'm fighting from it. Mm-hmm. I've been thoroughly convinced. Yes. That the scripture is truth. Yes. Yes. What God said, yes. what we've seen accomplished, what Paul and the ri- other writers wrote is actually alive in us, and not just today, yes. but over 2,000 years ago. Jesus. This was truth then, and it is truth now. Oh, yeah. mm. And it seems as if we should know more about it or have the desire to explore it more now than we ever before. But Absolutely. I know that there are hindrances. There are hindrances. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and we are uh, vessels uh, 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 that the Lord has for this particular. I got some yeah, things going yeah, through my mind. I want to make I sure I am thorough on it. <clears throat> we are vessels, and you. There are some of you that are employed as well to be vessels yes, of change. Yes, and you will speak things that will encounter resistance. Yes, yes, because it's not going to sound like what is traditionally said. Right, right. Now there's going to be a fight. As it relates to scripture, God has already pre-given me the heads up and many others of you. And Jesus. so all times we are, we are apprehensive about, I don't want to say afraid, I, I think it's more apprehension mm-hmm. about saying things because we don't want to ruffle any right, feathers. Right, right. We want to make sure. But there is a, is a responsibility that comes in our heart. And we talk about this quite often, Doc. Exactly. That we have a greater responsibility to speak in truth to people Jesus. than being liked by the man. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
And you sent me a post the other day I thought was so powerful that as opposed to speaking to the ma- the masses, yeah. we need to share light to the leadership. Absolutely. Because the masses, the masses can't not be really, really, really engaged on the level until leadership because the multitude is always judged by the committee. Mm, mm, That's always been mm, the scripture. My. Even from day one, the scripture that we, we, we read most under controversy and, and trauma mm-hmm. and tragedy is Second Chronicles 7, right, 14. Right. If my people, right. the committee, right. Right. would pray, then the multitude mm-hmm. would mm-hmm. be blessed as a consequence. Exactly. Our religion and our thoughts have changed that. We think we under indictment from God because of what they or the world has done. Their lifestyles has caused us to live limited life. Jesus. That's not Jesus. the scripture. Yeah. I know it's, yeah. It's, yeah. it's the popular sentiment, <laughs> but it's just not the scripture. Right. It's That's not right. the scripture. And so it's more important to me to tell you the truth. Now, I have been uh, conditioned by God, and it takes prayer for this to sustain in our spirit. Jesus. Because you want to, you want the proper people to hear and to engage and to embrace. Right. But the Lord has already warned mm-hmm. that you are going to come up against resistance from places that you thought should have been embraced. Jesus, Jesus. And it's because it's because the first law of nature is self-preservation. Absolutely. And if I look at a thing and it seems as if it might hinder some things I already got going on that's beneficial. Jesus. I've got to kind of say, okay, let's bag off of that for mm-hmm, right now. Mm-hmm. That means that I'm putting myself over mm, the agenda mm, of God. Mm, mm, and i got to be very careful mm. because while I'm trying to scuffle to make things right for me, mm-hmm. the Lord is saying, listen, I need you to lead these people into Come on. this next level of living. Yes, sir. And so I feel obligated to that, and I know that you do too. Yes, yes. And so that's where we're going to engage. Which, If you guys will, please share, because we're about to open up something Jesus. today. And we're going to go in heaven. I'm telling you, Dr. Richard, I'm committing that from this day forward. I started last Thank Sunday, you. from this day forward. You, I'm going to share in the scripture. Now, some of you are afraid because you have gotten something from God in your spirit. And you feel unqualified because of the systems that told you, right. here's how you get to the place where you can properly hear God. Right. It's a system that they put on. Right. But in the scripture, God never used those things. He mm-hmm. always used the simple things. He always used the outcast. He always used the unqualified to say something that would change the world. I believe that this is the moment that some unknown people are about to change oh, the world. Jesus. Because Jesus. they're going to release out of their yes. spirit yes. what the spirit of the Lord yes. said. And they yes. won't fight the fight of who right. don't agree right. with it. They will leave it out there. They will give, they'll do the reporting and let you decide whether you're going to embrace it or not. And that's fair. That's fair. So good. That's fair. Go, Dr. Richard. It's so rich. It's so rich. I'm telling you, there's a word that's being released right now, people of God, that if you will tap into it, if you will embrace it, uh, it will bear witness with mm-hmm. your spirit. I, yes. want, I want you to know that in, in, in advance. And the Father will allow uh, 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 it to be f- confirmed by yes. two or three witnesses. Yes. And signs will follow. Oh, so yes. I'm telling you, yes. it, it's setting us up for a time that the supernatural, again, will be released. You know, we, we, we send out our prayers to those that were affected by uh, this great storm that came through yeah. uh, our city. But I'm telling you, when I see it in the spirit, this is the same thing that needs to happen in the spirit. Yes. And I'm telling you, what is being released right now is going to be a spiritual whirlwind yes. that's going to attack everything that is not like him. It's going to release freedom and and, and destiny to all those that will embrace yes. what the Father is saying through his servant. So I'm yes. telling you, now is the time that you understand that everything, as, as, as Apostle said, everything is finished. It, this is a key word I love to hear all the time, the word already, already. Somebody say already. Somebody type already, already. You're already blessed. You're already healed. The word is already. If, you see, if, you, if you're in any other, other tense, T-E-N-S-E, if you're in any other tense, you know it's coming. It's coming. Here, here it come. Here it come. Get ready. No, no, no. It's already here. It's already. Everything is already here. Ephesians 1 and 3, you've heard me said many times. Thanks be unto God who has blessed us, past tense, yeah. with every spiritual blessing. I'm telling you, you're already blessed. Yeah. You're already healing. As, as, as Apostle said, we're not working to victory. We're working from um, victory. We're not working to the cross. We're working from um, the cross. From and the when cross. we understand what that is all about and what all that entails, I'm telling you, it's going to be life-changing. Share, share, yeah. share. It's coming at you now in it's Jesus' coming, name. In Jesus' name. Now, 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 again, 
you said something, Ephesians uh, 1, 3. Yes, sir. It's, it's talking about what is called the hat language. God always speaks in past tense. Yes. It's not about what he's about to do. It's about what he's done. This is why it's so important. I thank you, my man, for being in the house. Uh, uh, Sheila Butler, blessings to you. Blessings. Uh, uh, Pastor uh, Tamika Henderson, of course, uh, Lady T, thank you guys so much. My cousin, Woo-hoo. Rhonda Taylor, been helped. Now, now, God speaks in the half language. Uh, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me look at this real quick. Yes, sir. You just said it, and I think that's one of the things, a foundational Glory that we should God. start with. This is Ephesians 1, verse number 3. Yes, it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I've, I've explained this to you several times. The uh, reason why Paul here in Ephesians says that Peter says it in his book that he's uh, the son of God and we, he's, they are blessing the father of the son Jesus. Jesus. That is so important to our life mm-hmm. because as long as God is Jesus' father, he is your yes. father. Yes. That's why the Bible says that we were adopted because of Calvary in two. Come on, come on. And as long as Calvary is Calvary, I am In and never out. No matter what I do, I'm never going out. Because I didn't do the work to put me in, and I can't work to get me out. As far as God is concerned, I'm in for the rest of my life. Well, somebody may ask a question. There's a scripture to that. The Bible says that he has forever perfected those that are sanctified, those that are set apart. You have already always been perfected. You don't have to worry about trying to be perfect yeah. because you've already been perfected. Yes. And so now we what? Grow in grace yes. and in the knowledge, knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Lord and Jesus, Savior Christ. Jesus Christ. We just, we're growing in the awareness yeah. of what has been finished. Go ahead, right. now, 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 okay, okay, since I love it when these things pop up like this. Thank now, you. to validate that in scripture, the perfection, the work of perfecting was through Cabbage Cross, right? Yes. Now, when we go to the second chapter of Ephesians, um, the, 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 third, the, the, the third verse or the first chapter says, Having uh, uh, according uh, as he has blessed chosen. us, uh-huh. chosen us uh-huh. in him, mm-hmm. right, and blessed us with all spiritual blessings yes, yes. in heavenly places. Why did he set it in heaven? Mm-hmm. It's not when you get to heaven, right? But he set it on the high Thank shelf you for saying that. So Thank that you. so that you can't touch it. <laughs> it's too high. You know how you push stuff away from kids so that they can't touch it. Wow! So he set it in Absolutely. heavenly places so that you can't touch it. Wow! As a matter of fact, the Bible says that when a, 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 a speaking from a man's point, when an agreement or a contract has been signed, it can't be nullified until the two parties agree. Yes. God says, "I'm not agreeing with a nullification because you were not responsible for making it, and so you are not big enough to change the Jeez. agreement clause." Jeez. The second chapter, Ephesians, verse eight. Says this. Now listen to what verse 8 says. It says, For by grace are you saved yes. through faith yes. and not that of your self. You mm-hmm. can't make yourself saved. Right. It's just by grace through faith. Right. It is the gift of God. It mm-hmm. is what? The gift of God. It is the gift of God. Please yes. hear me. Please yes. hear me. I know you want to yes. be religious. I know. And I, and I know. I know. That feels yes. good. It is the gift of God, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Now listen to what this says here. Because you said it wasn't by works and people get messed up. Oh, you see, they're trying to tell you how to. We're not trying to tell you nothing but scripture. That's it. Listen That's to it. the name of the grace. Verse says, not of, mm-hmm. worth, worth. Let's see the man. He's, he's saying what we are doing. Mm-hmm. He already prophesied, not of works, lest any man should boast. What boast. do we do? We mm-hmm. boast about how good we've been. Right. Haven't done nothing today to make right. my Lord ashamed. Mm. Well, you haven't done anything uh, according to the criteria that you set up. Mm-hmm. There are certain criteria that we can set up, and we can do everything else, but as long as we're good in this area. Mm. 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 I remember mm-hmm. this preacher, man. I remember this preacher. I remember this preacher that has some foul things going in his life. And I'm not talking about anybody because I'm not right. going to call the name. Right. And he has some incredibly foul things going on in his life. But he told his van driver. That if you go to somebody's house and they come out of the house with pants on, they can't come to church. Jesus. But in his personal life, he had some other things that were worse. Mm. Mm. And he kept getting up bragging about his life mm. until it was exposed. Mm. Now, now, this is how we got to be very careful. That's exactly I'm going right. somewhere with this. Absolutely. It says, it says not a word, so lest any man should boast. Mm-hmm. Now, listen to the 10th verse. The 10th yes, verse of the second chapter of Ephesians. Mm-hmm. Here's what it says. It says, for we are... His work workmanship mm-hmm. created in, in Christ, Christ unto good works. Now, what it says, we are mm-hmm. workmanship. So mm-hmm. We are, in other words, while they're trying to tell you to work, to work, to get in that, the Bible says we are His. <laughs> it created in Him. He worked the work. This is right. He sculptured us. Mm-hmm. It wasn't the work that we done. It's the work. See, see, what we are trying to achieve 
we put it backwards. We're trying to do some work to get God to love us, and God says you won't be able to do the work until you discover that I love you. <laughs> it's the outward working of an inward yes. healing. Yes. We're trying to get to somewhere without understanding that if you don't get grace down, you can't live what you desire to live. Come on. That's it. You That's can't it. live the righteous life until you embrace grace, until you embrace that I am nothing. Jesus. If grace don't save me, Listen, yes, I am not, yes, nothing yes, I have done yes, in yes. my feeling good about what I've done matters at all to God. It's only through the route that he has sanctioned and stamped. That's Jesus Christ Jesus, and the cross of carrier. Yes, sir. Listen to this. Yes. It says, we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had mm-hmm. before mm-hmm. ordained mm-hmm. that we should Walk in them. Not when you're living, but before you were alive. That's before it. you That's entered, it. he says, mm-hmm. I had. God always speaks in the hat lane. Now, I'm going to go back to this third verse of the first chapter. Bless me, the God and Father of our Lord, who had before. Uh-huh. Yep. Why did he do it before? Because he did not want us to think that what we did after determined the blessing before. Thank you. <laughs> I'm living in the fullness of the <laughs> blessings of God. Now, listen to this. Who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly place, according as he at before chose us in him before Four. the foundations yes. of the world that we should be what holy and without and without blame before him in love. in love the saints keep telling us that it was God's desire that we live right and holy and 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 come before him but it says that is you know what that is truth Absolutely. But the way we approach it and get to it is wrong. Right. We thought he he was saying that we should bring holy gifts to him and he accept us. It says, no, he chose you to be holy because the lamb was slain before. Before, before, before. Romans 8 talks about it. For those who he foreknew, he called, he he justified and and, and glorified. This stuff ain't no happenstance. This was preordained yes. by him. Yes. And the beautiful part about it, he never overrides the free will that he's given us. But he does uh, determine the outcome of all things. Yes. We win. Revelation yeah. is the key to us changing the situation. This was in him before. Now, now this is why the ninth verse, and this is not what we started yeah, out of. But, yeah, we got, yeah. but what, listen to what the ninth verse says. It says, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, yes. which he has purposed in himself. Yes. Now, now, what is this saying? This is absolutely saying that the way that we understand what is ours is through revelation. Absolutely. See, he had blessed us with so so when we pray and ask God for more, mm-hmm. he says, I can't give you any more than what I've already given you. Mm-hmm. Now it's up on you to get revelation to understand the fullness of what I've already packed you with. Jesus. Jesus. He's packed Jesus. us with all three. He can't give us any more yes. than what he is all. He's packed us. So now yes. what he's trying to say to us, Dr. Richmond, yes. and I believe this with my whole heart. Yes, yes. He's saying you will no longer engage people, go to conferences, go to churches, go to situations as a person that's lacking something. Come on. Come on. Because you are packed with all spiritual blessings. What do you do now? You are engaging people, watch this, that can activate what you already have. Yes. You need revelation yes. on what your package yes. already is. So, in other words, you it, it, it you can only engage people that are already engaged. Hello. Because it would take one to no one. Jesus. Jesus. We have taken this system and we are connecting to people right. because we think they're giving us a greater anointing. Mm, 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 mm. How can that be? The, listen, nobody can give you a greater anointing. Nobody. Nobody. The Spirit of God gives that. Yes. But yes. there are people that can teach you how to operate right. in what they know how to operate in. Right, right. But we keep thinking right. we're going to them. Right, right. And what we do, we lose ourselves. That's exactly because right. Because we think we're deficient. That's exactly right. And they'll, and they'll take all of you that you give. <laughs> and you'll become a clone. And the work of God that is so vital in you will never be done because we don't know that we can engage this. My God, my God. We don't know this, man. Right, right. You're and right. I'm sorry if that's been your doctrine. But I'm telling you, we are in for a reformation now. Yes. And yes. God is not worried about who don't like this reformation. My God. Because there's some people that are in the middle of a struggle right now. You disqualified yes. yourself. And God said you were qualified. You tried to enter your time before your time. 
Mm-hmm. That's been the war. It ain't that you were not qualified. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You were trying to clock in before the time was clocked clean. Listen, God is faithful enough. He told me this. He says, I'm faithful enough to end somebody else's before I allow somebody else's to begin. Jeez. And that's all we're seeing. Jesus. And when we use the phrases and cliches at such a time as this, you better wait just a second before you give up because your such a time as this is up on you now. Yes, sir. It's up on you. I'm telling you. It, listen, we, we were talking about before, before the show, we were talking about artificial intelligence. Yes. And how that, that even that is a type in the church that we're trying to receive what God has finished, but we're using artificial Fishing. wisdom, if you will, artificial intelligence, artificial knowledge and understanding until you Start with this, with, with with this this truth and understanding. I was I was on the treadmill this morning and was just just enjoying myself and, and the spirit of God began to speak to me. You see how this all comes together. Mm-hmm. He began to talk about you know I, I told ch- children of Israel the first commandment was to love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and and strength. If I get that all perfectly right, but he said you know I love you the same way. Yeah. I love you. With all of my heart, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm trying to get somebody to understand that you're not going to be able to receive what Apostle is saying until you get the foundation of the love of God. You said something earlier when we first came in about how that you were uh, uh, completely convinced, yeah. and I stopped you in yeah. your track yeah. because I'm telling you, you know, how, do you know how powerful it is? Even Abraham was what fully, fully persuaded. Yeah. He was fully persuaded, and I'm telling you, if you're going to be and do anything in God, you're going to have to be fully persuaded of the revelation of the love of God. I'm telling you, he loves you with all of his heart, with all of his mind, with all of his soul and strength. You knew he wasn't going to let you out, out love him. You do know you do know that. <laughs> when you understand and you found, uh, listen, I, I teach music every, 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 every day pretty much and I'm telling you, uh, 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 my students have to start, they want to get out here and they want to play all the fancy chords, this, that, and that, but I have to, I have to slow them down. You got to come back right. to the foundation. You can't do do nothing until you understand the key. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Yes. You got to get the keys. Then you got to get the basic core. Yes. You got to move in to the variations of those foundational stuff before you can really begin to move in those greater uh, 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 progressions, if you will. It's the same way here. You must understand that it is finished in Christ. You talked about works earlier. I'm just excited. But I'm, t- yes. I'm telling you, well, good Lord. Hebrews says it like this. It said, he that has entered into the rest of God has ceased. Somebody yeah. gonna, somebody gonna, gonna they gonna, they gonna swear up and down. They ain't never heard. This. They have ceased Please. from their own works. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> How can it be about works when he said they have ceased <laughs> from their works? Huh? That have entered into the rest of God. Well, let's 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 let's, let's make it clear. When you understand, it's not about you uh, working to rest, but you it, you. Matter of fact, the only work that we have is to labor to enter, enter. the rest of God. Yes. Yes, yes. He did not shed all that blood for you to still have to work for everything. I told him, I tell him all the time, I said, I said, Christ is the only groom uh, 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 that I that I know that charges his, his bride for everything hey, after the wedding. Ain't that interesting? That is, that, but it's that's crazy. That's our concept. That's it. We've been exonerated in court. <laughs> but, but the judge yeah, yeah. didn't say, now report. Ooh. To the death chamber. You better come on with that. So come we can on with execute that. the judgment that you've been. You, been you, you receive a full pardon. Full pardon. But then report to report the ex- to the execution room for the rest of your life, that's, so that you can be judged the rest of your life. That's what's happening every every Sunday. In, many, in, in most churches, that happens. Now, 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 we are we are not here to <laughs> offend. We are here to tell the truth. But yes. Jesus said the truth will. He said all will be yes. offended yes. in me. Yes. Now, yes. Yes. I'm going to say it again yes. because, Dr. Yes. Richmond, the enemy works and he works very diligently yep. on the minds of yep. people. Yep. I, the reason why I have him on on this broadcast with Jesus. me because I know his lifestyle. Jesus. I know what he desires. We both desire oh, to please God. the Lord. We're yes. not saying things to try to get not out of at all. Out of a certain God, yeah, they trying to sneak some stuff in and say that's not by work because they want to do this. No, that's not our agenda. Not at all. What we're trying to share with you is the fact that we couldn't get to this place until Jesus. we fully embrace that it's only by grace. Jesus. I am saved by grace, and by grace I stay saved. And, 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 and you think about this, you know, God has a way of of picking people and choosing people that are a part 
of what he's wanting to deliver people out of. Yeah. Yeah. We, we were a part of, if you will, let's just, we just got to go there. We were a part of the delusion. Yeah. We was a part of the delusion. And so we have, we have that inner understanding inner, of the inner workings of everything that's going, that's been going on. And so this is what, this is the guideline that he wants to use to bring us now out of and bring us into what he has predestined us before the foundation of the world. This is it. Okay. This now, is it. Now say what you said. Oh, no. No, no, no. Sit, now listen to this. Listen to this. I want y'all to hear that. What did you say? Because uh, it, I, I only speak awful, awful. What he, <laughs> you got to say it this time. Because I, I, I was just in the spirit. I forgot what yeah. I said. But, <laughs> the part of the what? Yes. The delusion. Yes. Yes. Now that's, yes, a, yes. that's offensive. Yes. Yes. I, w- I want to go somewhere. Do it. I want to go somewhere. Do it. Coach, listen. I know, I know we're working under. Now, please hear this. Now, 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 please get, if you will, do me a favor. Go and share with some of your favorite ministers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> get, 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 get this, get this. Because, again, 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 we are trying to, to, to bring people to a place where, where the truth is. It yes. Don't, don't, don't look at, don't, don't, don't judge no man by the flesh. Yes. In other words. That's it. Don't look at and say, well, they ain't uh, uh, ordained into the third <laughs> level of this. That's judging by the flesh. He says, judge no man. See, that, that scripture go- covers a lot of stuff because God knew that there was a day that a word was going to come from a nobody or people that people deem nobody. And yes. They're going to judge them by the flesh. Yes. And they're going to look at what they think is success or how they have defined success, and they're going to lose and they're going to miss. God is hiding his greatest revelations in the powers of unpopular stuff. Wow. Wow. Now, now, let's go back to where we talked about the delusion. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Gotta now go. I'm gonna go to the scripture Do it. now. Do it. Now please, I want I want to I want to I want to bring something into uh your mindset because the Lord uh, oh, he just blew me up with this. Mm. And when you will submit yourself unto God, he'll start opening up things. He'll he'll give you the confidence yes. that even yes. if you don't hear it nowhere else, he'll give you the confidence yes. that this is what I want to be saying. Yes. For those that would dare to believe God, and some of you are in the midst of a mess, and God has been uh, launched your ministry. Mm. Watch, because of what he says you have experienced something. Because I, I, I preached this a couple of Sundays ago, that whenever we say, God, I want to be like you, mm. the Jesus. first thing he does is show you him. Mm, and mm. The, the, the the ill effects of him showing you him is now you see you. Mm. And now you have something to, to match yourself against. Mm-hmm. And now you look at, oh, my God, I look horrible. Mm, and mm, now mm. what we do through religion, we come out of the process because God just showed us something ugly. <laughs> well, when you are in the process of becoming like God, all of this ugly stuff is going to come up. Jesus. He will expose to yes. dispose of. If there's been no hey. exposure, there can't be no disposal. Jesus. Oh Jesus, my Jesus, God! Jesus. Now, 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 Doctor Richard. Yes, I want to go to Joshua chapter ten. Okay. Now, now, listen to this. Oh my God! Please share, please share. Joshua chapter ten. Yes, sir. Now, listen to this. Joshua chapter ten. Now, listen to this, Doctor Richard. Okay. It says, "Now we know Joshua is Joshua. He is commissioned to lead people into promise. Yes, yes. He has a different administration than Moses. Yes, yes, yes. When this book starts, God is telling Joshua, my servant Moses is dead. My servant Moses Mm -hmm. is dead. He's talking to Joshua, who was the minister of Moses. He's making it very clear. Uh, Moses is off the scene because I've taken him off the scene. Mm Mm-hmm. So don't you don't you feel bad when the switch when the switch start happening right, when the pivot right, happens right. don't you get all messed up stay right. the course and do what I told you to do yes now here's Joshua who is leading people now listen to the doctor okay it says now it came to pass when uh, this is Adonazek king of Jerusalem uh-huh. now listen to this and it came to pass when Adonazek king of Jerusalem had heard how Joshua had taken Ai mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and had utterly destroyed it, and he had, as he had done to Jericho. Now Joshua and the people had had seen some major right. victories. Now they went right. through the struggles, right, right? Right. Because Achan took that garment from Babylon, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and now they were plundered. But God brought them through. Right. Right. They made right, a mistake. Right, right. God dealt with the mistake. And right. Said, now you still promise, mm-hmm. even though you made a mistake. Here is the king of Jerusalem. He heard that Joshua had taken Ai and utterly destroyed it, mm-hmm. as he had done Jericho mm-hmm. and her king. Mm-hmm. So he had done to Ai and Gibeon. 
and, and her king. Mm-hmm. And how the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Israel and were among them. Jesus. Now, the second verse, that they feared greatly because Gibeon was a great city as one a royal city. And because it was greater than Ai and all the men there were mighty. Wherefore, Adonis, that king of Jerusalem, sent unto her Haram, king of Hebron, and unto Parim, king of Jamat, and unto Japhat, king of Lashes, mm-hmm. and unto this other king yeah. of Eglon. Now, they got all these things. Yes, sir. Here's what the Lord arrested me and said. He says, what happened in the days of the people of promise, Jerusalem, it said the king of uh-huh, Jerusalem, uh-huh. was against them. Right. What is Jerusalem? Jerusalem is deemed the place of worship. Yes. There was a time that Jerusalem was against the people of promise. Jesus. God rectified and took it with David. Mm. God says it's a moment that we're living in that now Jerusalem is coming against the people again. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Did you hear me what yeah, I just said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jerusalem went to five other influential leaders and said there's a people of promise that is coming. We got to do whatever it is to yes. stop them from walking in mm-hmm. the promise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This point, Jerusalem was against the promised people. God delivered him them, and now what we're seeing is the place of worship coming against the promised people again. Wow. wow. We're back there wow. again. Right. Now, how do they come against them? Now, in the Bible, New Old Testament literal, New Testament spiritual. Right. How does the enemy engage these things? Through deception of Word. Jesus. When your revelation is not up to God's moment, then the minds of the people are being attacked. And yes. now the place of worship, which is supposed to support the people, is now becoming the thing that caused the people to feel like they're weak. Mm, 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 he mm, says, mm, here mm, come a people mm, that have mm, been in struggle. Jesus. Jesus. And they don't deserve this. Mm-hmm. So now what? Let me call my other leader friends to make sure they never get to the place. That the God is that I know radio people, y'all y'all got to come over here uh, to the Facebook. We, we, we <laughs> y'all got to come over here. We go. I'm gonna finish this thought out, Doctor. Yes, sir. I'm gonna show you something that the Spirit of the Lord dropped in my spirit, sitting in the parking lot of the of radio station. Jesus, Father, we thank you for those that are listening now. Thank you so much for this word penetrating their heart. God, let them know this is not an attack. This is a moment that you are bringing truth to their yes. hearts for the tormented. Truth for the tormented that they can walk in freedom, God. Yes. Let those that are leaders that hear this not feel offended and think that we are trying to tear down their good works, Lord. But you are here for all of us. Yes. God, you desire that we all prosper. Yes. But you all, you desire most of all that we all come into truth. Yes. Let us know that it's more than enough for all of us because your blessings are upon us. Jesus. When we hear your word and trust your word Corre and walk in revelation. Simply. In the name of Jesus, in we pray. Jesus Amen. For those of you who listen to me on radio, keep us on radio. Yes. Uh, so into a uh, cash out. Pastor G for NOB. Dollar sign cash, Pastor G for NOB. Now, I got to go back into it. Yes. So, the king of Jerusalem. This just blew me away. Mm. The place of mm. worship. Mm-hmm. 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 This is why Paul utters out of his mouth in Galatians 4. He says, Jerusalem, which is now, and her children mm-hmm. are in bondage. The physical <laughs> right, right, are in bondage. Right, right, right. But Jerusalem from a right, bond, right, right, right. The spiritual. This is why we got to understand this scripture because we are trying to make this physical rule what God is trying to do mm, in the spirit realm. When mm. God has chosen something in the spirit, I don't care what your reputation, what your accolades are in the physical realm, you have got to hear God yes, in the spirit yes, realm yes, yes. to maintain or yes. you become the person that fights against the move of God. Jesus. Wow. Wow. These people called this king of Jerusalem called other leaders mm-hmm. to stop this 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 group of rebellious people. Who do they think they are? Don't they know that they just people born in Egypt? People that are born in in in, in all kind of chaos. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He calls them. Now, here's where the power come. Here's where the power come. So Joshua, who has now got momentum, we know in this 10th chapter, right. he's winning like he never won before. Right. And he looks up at heaven and he says, son, don't you move because my day of winning is here. That's right. In other words, when God gives you this next day of winning, it's going to stand still. Because he says, once you begin to win, now this comes in the mindset. Yeah. Once you begin your winning season, he's going to allow you to stay there. Jesus. The day it's going to stop in the winning. Yes. Yes. See, the day the winning been far 
and right. you in between. Right. But God says now Revelation is going to bring you to this place of, of winning again, and the sun going to set still. Going to sit on you. And mm -hmm. so they, mm -hmm. he gets a he gets a call. I don't know if it was a text. I don't know what it was. <laughs> but he gets the info that the five kings have been captured. Mm, mm, and Joshua mm. says to his men, he says, put them in a cave until I get done winning. In other words, I'm not going to. They think they got power. But let's subdue that power and stick them and put them away and not get distracted by what they're trying to do. Let's stay on this winning trail. Jesus. Let's stay focused. God, if God is for us. Who can be against yes. us? Boom. Yes. He says, keep it moving. So he went out in the fight until he won everything. Then he says, oh, well, let's go deal with these authorities that thought they had their right, 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 right. Joshua comes to the cave. And he says, let them out. Let them out. Let, I'm paraphrasing. This is, this is Joshua. Let them out. 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 They go and they get the five kings, and the men are, are, are afraid because these are the powers right, that at one right, time could right, stop everything. Right. These are the people that whatever they said, it went. These are the people that said, if you don't come through us, you don't have a ministry. These, these are the people that said, I can stop your life. I can take your anointing away from you. I can take hey. your credentials. I can take your stuff away from you. And so listen. we were afraid. Uh -huh. And, and, and here's, 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 here's what the, uh, the scripture said. Now, Joshua said, bring them out because Joshua was not of that order. He was not scared. Right. Joshua was actually Moses' henchman. Mm. Mm. When the Lord says, Joshua, be of good courage, that's, that kind of, uh, so Joshua, why are you telling Joshua to be of good courage? Because Joshua was ready to fight an angel. <laughs> He's ready to pull his sword out and go to fight. And the Lord says this to me. He says, the reason why I told him to be of good courage, not because of the physical fight, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I was about to download something in his spirit that was not going to look like what Moses got. Jesus. And he's going to have to have enough courage to trust me, even when it didn't sound like his mentor. Jesus. He's going to be able to move with me. He says, I'm telling Joshua that today you are going to have to fight a different fight. Mm. You won't go out physical. You mm. go out in the spirit. Mm. He gives him a directive then and says, now you're going to march around this wall seven days. And you won't shout until the seventh day. That's right. Don't you go out there shouting every day. Uh -uh. Because y'all want to shout all the time, but y'all don't want to follow instruction. He says, <laughs> <laughs> You want to shout, but you don't want to follow instructions. Uh. And he says, listen to the instruction. So he's telling Joshua, be careful now because there are some things that's going to come up and you're going to start thinking about how y'all used to do it. Right, right. And the moment you pull your sword is the day you're going to die. Jesus. So don't pull your sword. Follow the instructions. Follow the instructions. Follow, do what I tell you. Yes. So here it is. He said, pull these kings out. They pull them out. The people are like, oh, my God. Oh, that's, that's, that's doctor. That's, that's, mm, mm, you know, you know, you know, you can feel it. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah uh, 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 <laughs> and they scared. Joshua would tell the men, bring them out, line them out. He watch this, Dr. Richard. Yes, sir. He says, he says, now expose their neck. Mm. Expose the neck of this, Speak this, of this, this thing that has caused people to be afraid. The yes. king of Jerusalem is in there. The king, all these kings, he says, expose the neck. Then. Once the neck was exposed, the people looking like, Joshua, do you know what you're doing? Do you know who you're coming against? Mm. Do you know who you're talking against? That's, you don't get who this is. Mm. Mm. He, says, he says, come here. Come here. They walked up to him shaking. He says, take your foot and put it on this neck. That's what he said. Why did Joshua order this? He said, because today you will be delivered from the fear of everything that you thought can uh. hold you. Lord. From walking into your true anointing, you will be delivered today. I'm speaking to somebody. Yes. You are delivered. Yes, he delivered. said, all you got to do is take the courage enough to put your foot on the thing Thank that you. has been holy. You've been allowing them to put their foot on your neck. Right, right, right. But this season, God is reversing it. You're going to put mm. your foot on everything that the devil Listen. thought that he can hold you in. You're about to put your foot on the neck. Jesus. Then after the neck ceremony, it was the hanging ceremony. Mm. He says, now take them all and hang them. He hung every last one of them. This was the final ceremony to let everybody know it is dead and it is gone forever. Now watch what he says. Now take them and put them back in the cave from which they came. Jesus. They've been living in a cave. Mm. And they're coming out of the cave, but we're going to put them right back in the cave and put a stone on them because the cave with the stone signified the person or the place of dead people. Put Jesus. them back in there. Stuck them back Jesus. in there. Now, Dr. Richmond, 
the reason why this is so important to me, yes, man, yes. I know I'm talking, I know I'm so talking. So good, so good. The reason why this is so important to me uh-huh. is because we're going to be able to put out net. There's some people that are still scared. There's some people that still been hurt by those kings, and now you've been hurt, and you're telling God, I can't engage in the ministry that I sold the minister in because I've been hurt by them. Those kings have been put to death. Jesus. Now it's time Jesus. for you to move forward. Jesus. And you can't have no excuses from God. Jesus. No more excuses. Now, now. When they hung him, here's what Joshua said. Before nightfall, take the carcass of the hanging out. Jesus. Why? Because if you don't take that carcass down from the hanging place, it will cause a curse to be in the ground. Wow. Wow. Now, this is important. Wow. wow. It will cause a curse to be in the ground. So, so when the Lord illuminated this to me, he took me to the book of Deuteronomy. He took me to the, mm. and this is so important for such a time as this. He took me to the book of this. This is why we keep hearing messages about curses because we don't know that Christ has redeemed, redeemed yes. us from the yes. curse of the law. Yes. If we don't come into revelation, all of our prayer meetings are going to be meetings about the tragedies and what it's going to do. It's going to cause the people that's praying to become prey. It's our revelation that's causing us to live in these devastating situations. So Joshua said, take down the dead bodies Mm -hmm. because we've got to understand that as long as a curse hangs out there, it will deteriorate your promise. Jesus, This is why the enemy keeps telling us to talk about curses because he's trying to defy the fact that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Curse is the man that hang it. On, on a, a tree. tree. That's right. Mm-hmm. And now if we keep hanging these curse ideas and curse sermons out there all through our generation, it actually deteriorates wow. the promised land. Wow, Listen to what this says in, in Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 22. And if a man have committed a sin worthy of death, mm-hmm. and he be put to death, he be put to death, and thou hang him on a tree. 23rd verse says, this is Deuteronomy 21, 23. His body shall not remain all night upon the tree. Mm. But thou shalt in any wise bury him that day, for he that is hanged is accursed of God. Mm. That he land, that thy land be not defiled, which the Lord God has given thee for an inheritance. Jesus. You see how the enemy yes. has caused us yes. these doctrines yes. to let these things and, and, rebel, and these teachings to hang out there. And now the place of inheritance has become the place that we lose in. Jesus. Jesus. This is why we keep losing. Right. Right. Because if we don't have a proper revelation, the people that are teaching us is causing us to live yeah. under this. Christ, yeah. We are no longer under curse. Now, 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 Dr. Richard. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. So, 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 so in Numbers chapter 22, Numbers chapter 22, yep, yep, yep. I get, this has got to end now. Numbers yes. chapter 22. Yes. Because you're fighting something that you're not supposed to be fighting. Yes. Yes. Numbers chapter 22. We know the story of Balak called Balaam. Mm-hmm. What did he call them to do? Mm -hmm. To curse this people. He says, there is a people that will come out of Egypt in bondage, and they think they're going to take Uh promise. I need you to come and curse this people. And he says, here's how much you will get for the cursing. Mm -hmm. We have the five leaders. This is correlation with the five leaders. It's calling in people to prophesy over the people Mm. to keep them in bondage. And here's what you get as a prophetic word for your prophecy. Wow. You're going to get. And so Balaam says, okay, let me pray to the Lord. The Lord says, you will not go prophesy against the promise. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care how many times they mess up. You will not prophesy. Why are we having so many prophetic words about the doom and gloom? Because God is mad about it. God, he says, they are completely defying what the word says. Wow. Wow. Completely defying because they have not heard me. Yes. They are prophesying out of their yes. own yes. their own stuff. They are prophesying out of their own desire. Yes. Because they want to be, they, they want people to bow down. If, if I said it, it's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. And now we are prophesying things. And, and, and Balaam called in Balaam, and he says, listen, look at the people. Look at them down there. Now, listen to this. Jesus. I don't have time to go deep into this, but I'm going to share. I'm going to do a Sunday. I'm going to start. The Bible says the people were at rest. They yes. were on the mountain. Mm-hmm. The people were at rest. And when you, looked into the, when you look into the camp <clears throat> mm-hmm. of the people at rest, Dr. Richmond, it was the shape of a cross. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was the shape of a cross. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. When I looked at that, the Lord says, now look at the picture of the tabernacle, mm -hmm. the holies of holies. If you look at the holies of holies, it's a picture of a cross. Jesus. You talked about rest earlier. Yes. Whenever yes. we come into the place called rest. Jesus. Now, Israel at that point, in Numbers 22, they're doing everything that they could do. God was all saying, I don't like this, I don't like But when he looked at them rest in him, the prophets couldn't prophesy against rest. See that? <laughs> wow. When wow. they trusted in the God of their salvation. Yes. He said, I don't care who prophesied against you when you're prophesying against this. So Bala came to the conclusion. He said, the ears that didn't hear, the eyes that could not see. How can I prophesy against the people that God had promised? Even on, though you think they're doing everything. But God said, this is the people. Promise. He said, I can't. Bala said, what are you doing? He says, I cannot curse. What, what God, God has, has blessed. blessed. I can not curse what God has blessed. Now listen to me. I'm going to be done, man. I got to be done. Now listen to me. Listen yes, to me. Sir. In Revelation chapter 2, there was a church called Pergamos. And God says, you're sitting in the place of Satan's seat. Yes. But you're keeping your faith. Right, right. You're holding on by a thread, but I see you're holding on. He says, he says, but I have an alt. Mm. Here's the problem. You are teaching the doctrine of Balaam. Jesus. What is the doctrine of Balaam? You are allowing people to hear that they are cursed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you allow people that are blessed to be uh, 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 under this delusion that God is mad and there's curses in the land, mm -hmm. you are letting it hang out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so what you do, a blessed people live a life of mishaps. Jesus. Jesus. Where we blame God. This is the anger of God. No, it's not. God's anger has been satisfied in Jesus. Yes. We just don't have enough revelation to live in rest. Jesus, Jesus. We just don't have. It, it, the, 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 the truth of the matter is, what powerful word that is, is that ignorance is a playground for the enemy. He wants to keep the children of God as ignorant or, or without knowledge as much as possible because he understands who truth is. He cannot outdo truth. When that truth is established, he said freedom is, is a byproduct of it. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. I'm telling you, if you're not free today, it's obviously there is some truth that is absolutely missing. What you are hearing today, what you are hearing today is going to set the captive free. Yeah. It's going to take off the blinders. It's going to remove uh, uh, the headband of, uh, again, of, of, of ignorance. I'm telling you, when you walk in the truth, you're going to do everything. Exploits because you know who your God is and you know who you are in your God. Uh, I'm telling you, this is the hour to receive the word of the Lord. It this, really is. This is it. Because yep. There are no more curses. No more curses. There is no more God is against us. Jesus. There's no more decision to be made if Jesus. God desires you to be blessed. Yes. That is not yes. a decision yes. up for discussion. It is a fact. You know, the enemy, Satan, the devil, whatever, the adversary, whatever you have turned him, is not controlling your life. Jesus. Because he has the power to. Right, right, right. He's only in control right. because we relinquish the power Absolutely. to him. Absolutely. How do we relinquish Absolutely. it? Because we don't know, because we have too many teachers yes. that keep telling us that he's got the power. Yes. He is the prince of the air. He is this. Jesus said that pre cavalry Jesus. When he goes to Calvary, he goes to the grave, he preaches, and he takes the keys to death, hell, and the grave. In Jesus. other words, he doesn't have a position anymore. Uh -huh. The only place that he thrives is in 2 Corinthians 10. What is that? Jesus. He says he is the ruler of darkness. That mm. means that when ignorance is there, he is ruling in ignorance. That's the only place. Jesus. Somebody said the only place that God is not all-powerful is in the mind of a Christian. <laughs> wow. That's the only place wow. he loses power. Wow. Wow. The, 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 the water walker, the death raiser, the Bible says Jesus could not do miracles in the place that the people didn't believe. Jesus. Jesus. So Absolutely. the enemy will not dress up as the enemy. Mm. He will come in the place of your belief, the, yes. the people that are speaking yes. into your life yes. that don't have a rhema 
about where yes. God is. They yes. will prophesy to you. Yes. Yes. I hear it all the time, yeah. man. Yeah. I want to call him and say, listen, what are you say? You are defying God right now. Yes. God is showing himself. God is showing himself. The Bible says in James 4, verse 7, it says, submit your ways mm-hmm. unto God. Mm-hmm. Resist yes. the devil. And what? He, he will, will flee. flee. Well, there's no lines of demarcation because mm. we don't have enough revelation mm-hmm. to know what are the works of God and what are the works of the devil. Absolutely. So what do we do? Absolutely. We submit to the devil and we resist God. Fight God. Yes, we sir. fight God. Yep. Because, yep. God, yep. this can't be true because you don't know how many things I'm going through. Yep. You yep. don't know. How is it that I, I say I serve an all-knowing God, mm-hmm. knows everything, and then I say he's surprised about what he just saw? How, listen, how is this possible? Ignorance. Ignorance. How Ignorance. is this possible? How, why would we keep robbing the scripture of its power. Yes. Listen, listen, listen. Because of the people that we think is supposed to be the 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 standard. I hear so many on on on, on, on YouTube, Doctor. I hear so many preachers that are spewing that they, they are. I, I'd be like, Lord, don't they know yeah. that this is not? Yeah. <sighs> The new covenant that we live under Mm -hmm. is not an addendum to the old (laughs) for some reason. We can't even, we can't properly read the scripture because we're so covered. That's why Jesus said the tradition will make the truth of non-effect. It always does. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in Matthew 5, 17, Dr. Mm -hmm. Richard, Mm -hmm. it says Christ had Mm -hmm. redeemed us from what? Mm Mm-hmm. The five, the five seventeen. It says. It says. He says, uh, uh, "Not one jot nor tittle right. of the law shall uh-huh. fall until all is fulfilled." Yes. How, well, how is it that we keep thinking that said, "No, the law ain't going nowhere," because Jesus said, "Not one jot nor tittle shall fall." He did say that, but he said, "It shall not fall until all is fulfilled." Yes. Did he fulfill it or not? Yes. Yes. Well, some people say, "Well, he's still in." Well, you were saying that he didn't fulfill it. Right. 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 So it means that it's still live because he didn't fulfill it. The scripture says it so clear. Christ is the end, end. of the law. <laughs> Christ is, is the end of the Another way of, and I, and I posted this just recently, that Christ is the personification, if you will, even of the law. Even He's greater than the law. The Bible speaks about that. Christ embodied everything that the law required. How about that? Yes. So that's why in Christ, we are, we are new creatures. Yes. We're, 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 we're absolutely accepted and approved by God in Christ because he satisfied everything that, that we should have ever uh, done to please God. Okay. Everything. Uh, 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 the old covenant, we said all the time, was a covenant between God and his people. Israel. Israel. <laughs> the new covenant is not between God and you, the believer. Yes. Wait a minute. Let's slow down. <laughs> Take a breath. This is, listen, we've got to establish this because as long as you think it's between you and him, then that means you've got to perform oh, your oh. part of the covenant. Yes. No, ma'am. Your only job is to believe, believe what has been performed on your behalf. The new covenant, saints of God, is between the Father and himself. Now, you got, I, we don't have time to go wrong all the way down there, but go over to Hebrews and understand how this thing was laid out. It is not between uh, uh, you and God. It is between God and himself. He swore by no greater. Yes. He performed it. And that's why you see uh, uh, in the old covenant, you hear, hear it all the time. If you, yes. then I. Then I. Th- come over the new covenant because of what I have done. Now you're able to be what? More than conquerors. More than, yeah. All, all of those things. That, uh, I have accomplished Everything that I desire for you to do in Christ. So all you got to do is get in Christ uh, yes. through the, this great salvation yes. and everything is, is accomplished. It's, uh, uh, Colossians 2 and 10. You are complete. Yes. What complete. can you add to complete? The only thing you can add to complete is greater awareness yes. of your well, completion. completion. But you can't complete what he finished. He's already finished it. 
Yes. If you're trying to complete it, you are in danger. You're in danger of nullifying. You're in danger of canceling what was, was what was done on your behalf. You cannot add. You cannot add to what has been finished, what has been completed. Now it's time for us to. All we can do. Listen to me. All we can do, saints of God. You've heard it. You've heard it over and over. Is respond to the finished work. That's all you can do. You can't add to it. You can only respond to what he has done on our behalf. It is finished. The only thing we it can do is, is finished. respond. It's, it's, it. it's finished. This Telling is, you. This is urgent. This is yes. so for, for, for this time. It's Everyone critical. It's critical. that tried to live law put themselves back yes. under. Yes, yes. Under the mishap yes. system. Yes, Under the, under the, the, the stride, the, the fight for life yep. when it was a gift to us. Pastor, yes, can I say this right quick? Yes, yes. I, I'm telling you, this is going to be kind of heartbreaking, but it's, it's so true that that most of churchdom has been operating under spiritual witchcraft. People have been manipulated into believing that they are not complete in Christ when he said you are. And I'm, I want you to understand that it's even more than just doing that. There is there is a commercializing of that ignorance. There's a commercializing of that type of teaching. Anything that does not point to Christ, any teaching, any gospel that does not point to Christ. He said, if I be lifted, even, even while he was here, if I be lifted up, I'll draw. Yeah. Listen, I, you, if Christ is not the center point, of all things, then I'm telling you, you're in the wrong place. If, if, a, if a gospel is coming that's pointing to you more than it is Christ, then you know that it's law-centered. Yes. It, is, it, is, it, is, it is not grace-centered. It is law-centered. And I'm telling you, you cannot win with the law. You cannot win. You cannot win with it. Say it again. Listen. Galatians 3 and 13, let's establish it. Because all that you said about the kings and, and Balak trying to get uh, uh, Balaam to, uh, to get Balaam to, 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 to uh, curse that, yes. the people of God. I want you to understand that, that the same, uh, what is that, Galatians 3 and 13. Let me read it again. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made. Christ was made a curse for us. For curse is everyone that hangeth on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on us, the Gentiles, through who? Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit to free. Can I tell you face to face, saints of God, I yes. need somebody to type this right here. I cannot be cursed. In Christ, I cannot be cursed. You cannot be demon possessed. I want to just make it plain and clear. You can be oppressed. You can be, you can be, uh, uh, the enemy can come against you with thoughts and ideas. But I'm telling you where the blood is, he cannot cross it. He cannot cross you it. are complete in Christ. That means you are lacking nothing, nothing missing. Nothing lacking and nothing is broken in Christ. Now, what do we do? Again, we come more aware. You've heard Apostle talk about it. We must come more aware of what has been established. Established in us. I, listen, so he said that there was uh, the, the, the witchcraft. Yeah. The witchcraft. Yeah. Now, that, that really offends. Yeah. Oh, it could. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Galatians 3, verse 1. This is exactly what Paul is saying. Oh, foolish Galatians, who had to be with you? Is that what he said? It's, he says, I recognize there's a witchcraft spirit here. Who had to be with you? In, in, in the New Living Translation, it says, who put you under a spell mm. that you should not obey the truth? Speak Holy Ghost. Before whose eyes Jesus Christ mm -hmm. had been ever. He says, you know you were saved right. by right. the cross. Right. Now you are letting people walk. This only I will learn of you. Receive ye the Holy Spirit by works of the law, or by the hearing of faith. Keep are reading. you so foolish? Keep reading. Keep reading. He says, are you that crazy? Are you so foolish? Are you so foolish? <laughs> having, having begun in the Spirit, yes. are ye now made perfect by the mm, flesh? Mm, now mm. watch this. Have you suffered so many? Have you gone through all that you've gone through to come back to this place of believing that it was you and your words? If it not be yet in vain, 
Yes. He did, now listen, listen to this, Dr. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did minister to you, the spirit, yes. and work at miracles among you. Uh-huh. Do it he by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Uh-huh. You know what that uh-huh. just said? Uh-huh. The reason why miracles are void in the church is because we're trying to mix law with grace. Absolutely. God Absolutely. cannot do. Absolutely. He refused to fight. Yes. Against that system of ideals when we keep trying to mix the two of these things together. Yes. Now, now, as we as as you go into the fourth chapter of this, it talks about Hagar and right, Sarah. Right. Right. The Bible says that Hagar again mm-hmm. is Mount Sinai. Mm-hmm. Then it says Sarah is Mount Zion. Yes. And it says we have not come to a mountain that cannot be touched. Jesus. That's got all the rules and regulations. See, what, when, 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 when Exodus uh, chapter 19 is them coming to uh, 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 the, the, the mountain and God is ready to say something yes, very powerful. Yes, yes, Now, the, 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 I believe it's the fifth verse of, the, of that 19th chapter. He says to them, if ye obey my voice, mm-hmm, what? Mm-hmm. Indeed, and what? Mm-hmm. Keep my covenant, uh-huh, right? Obey my uh-huh. voice, indeed, number one, to keep my covenant. Now, that's interesting to me because the Ten Commandments wasn't given to the 20th right, chapter. Right, right, right. What covenant are you telling me to keep if you have not given me the covenant until the 20th chapter? <laughs> so this should say to us that what he's trying to explain to us is the fact that there is something I want to talk to you about that I've already established. Jesus. Jesus. But you can't hear it because you just come out of trauma. Mm. Mm. They just come. This is fresh out of bondage. Right. And he's bringing them to that mountain to have the discussion about what he said to Abraham 400 years prior. Jesus. But they can't do it. Now, you don't know. We, 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 we messed up. We jacked up from the floor up. So now they tell Moses, we can't hear him. We need to hear and tell him whatever he say right. we're going to do. Right. That's right. the beginning of the old covenant system. Wow. They were coming to hear of a grant covenant mm. where a greater wow. attaches to a lesser with no strings attached. Wow. But since they could not handle it, wow. now they go from the the vessel, the the grant covenant to a kinship covenant. Jesus, this is where we get Deuteronomy twenty eight. Wow! If you do this, right, it, I do this. Right, exactly. that's where that comes. That wow. was not God's original intent. Wow! And when Jesus comes, He re-implement the same covenant that He had to Abraham. What is that? <laughs> when a greater attaches to a lesser, wow. with no strings attached, I will be your God. I will. And that's too heavy. Jesus. That's too heavy. We're going to cut this off, man. Well, I, I, I just want to throw in that, you know, we talked about the fact, you talked about law and grace, the mixture that's happening. And, and I heard it said so clearly that the generation without mixture will be a generation without measure. Yes. I believe we're getting ready to move into that generation that is without measure. Yeah. Yeah. All, all, all that we're about to see is going to be I mean, totally revolutionary. Yeah. But, but it's the, it, it can't happen until truth is established. Truth is established. It's not going to happen before truth the is end. established. We've yes. gone through a three-year yeah. year yeah. period yeah. where there's been major rearrangement. Yes, yes. And it seems as if we would have got the message, yeah. right, in that three-year yeah. period. Yeah. But yeah. here's the sign when you know people didn't get the message. It's like the disciples. Once yeah. he had preached yep. to them about yep. what's going to happen, as yep. soon as they found out that he had been crucified, they went back to work. Right back to doing work. Doing the same yep. thing they've done before. Absolutely. Blow hey, man, mind. thank you guys so much <laughs> for listening to us. Again, our desire <laughs> is that you hear the word. Yes. You make your decision based out of truth. You allow God to be God to you. Jesus. And, yes, there's a life of purity that you're going to live, but it's not going to be right. your works right. that produce right. it. Right. It's the works of God yes. inside you. That's the, I'm telling you, that's the only way you're going to get to that life that you so desire is Jesus. to please God, is when you embrace that grace is the only thing Jesus. that can produce it. It's a love thing. Yes. It's not a labor thing. That's it's it. a love thing. Wow. Love will produce the life that yes. you desire, not your labor. Amen. So pray us out of here. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the completed work. We thank you that you finished all things. And now that we're coming, we are now coming into the awareness of what you have completed on our behalf. We thank you that in you, according to your word, that we are now complete. 
nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken. And Father, now we're able to move into uh, uh, the supernatural, what you have uh, ordained, preordained for us to live a glorious life. You've called us to dominate in the earth. And Father, we know that there's some things that we must understand before we accomplish that. Father, we thank you that all that we are, all that we hope to be, is only by your grace. It's by your power. It's by your spirit. All we, we just simply get to walk in it all. And Father, we thank you for this uh, a chance and opportunity of a lifetime that you will be glorified in all the things that will happen in the earth. We bless you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Help Amen. us stay on the air. Help us stay on the air. Cash through cash help. Uh, I'm going to put it in there real quick. A dollar sign, Pastor G for NOB. Thank you guys so much. All of you guys that are in house. Hey, uh, uh, blessed my brother, uh, uh, Pastor C.B. Rucker, Pastor David and Tanya. My mom is in the house. The Bunte, yes. Yanti, uh, Prophet Cassidy Kennedy, blessed Tammy Earls, your vet love, Lace Lamora Smith, Jesus. and the leader Coleman, Sunder, Col uh, Colbin, uh, 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 Pastor Brandon Clay, uh, Daphne Nobles, uh, 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 Lakeisha Aldridge Johnson, blessings, uh, Mama Mary Woodall, Sheila Butler, all of you guys. Thank you so much. All Pastor Mika, folks. Hindu, all, and the all the blessed folks. Walk in the blessing of the Lord. Tune in Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Yes. I will go deeper into this thought. Thank you so much, Aaron, for being so patient with us. Amen. We are out here. I start with a prophetic work. I'm ending with one. Blessings on 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 blessings.